Soweto was a hive of activity on Youth Day as South Africans congregated in the famous township to celebrate and pay tribute to the brave youths that were gunned down by police on a day 40 years ago. That proved to be a turning point in the country's politics and a catalyst that eventually led to a free and democratic South Africa. Thousands of people have descended on the Hector Peterson Memorial here in Soweto to celebrate Youth Day, including a lot of foreign visitors who have flown into South Africa just to be a part of the celebrations and pay their respects to the fallen youth of 1976. Well, despite the chilly weather and a delayed flight, fans packed into the arrivals hall here at Oatambo International to get a glimpse of one of the world's most famous footballers, Lionel Messi. He's arrived with the star-studded Barcelona team to take on the former African champions, Mamelodi Sundowns, in the match dubbed the Champions vs. Champions and centenary celebrations of the late great Nelson Mandela's 100th birthday. The match that's about the extent of my skills when it comes to Kasi style football. This very field, this dust bowl if you like, is where hundreds of children turn up every weekend to play Kasi style football. Unfortunately, when they progress to the big leagues and play professional football, they adopt a more European style like at the stadium behind me when it's about winning games and not necessarily entertaining fans. The man known globally as the Blade Runner was adored by all after his superhuman-like achievements on the athletics track. His brand was flying high and headed for a career beyond athletics. Until the night that changed his life forever and saw a mighty fall from grace for the world-famous athlete. The chances of seeing Oscar Pistorius competing as a professional athlete are slim to none. As the disgraced Paralympian serves his time in jail, he'll have to come to terms with the fact that his career is a thing of the past. CS Duplessis, CCTV, Johannesburg. Depression in sport remains a topic that little is known about and very little is said about. Until athletes feel comfortable in reaching out to professionals that are equipped with the skills that can help to escape the mental illness, it will continue to be the dark passenger that hampers and debilitates in silence. CS Duplessis, CGTN, Pretoria. As Michael and Corsi says, in tennis we are all champions, and it is champions like him that are making a difference in one of the most crime-ridden parts of Johannesburg, changing lives by inspiring a group of young kids with very little hope, with a promise that one day through the sport of tennis, they could realize a dream of playing in one of the finals of the most famous tournament in the world. CS Duplessis, CGTN, Johannesburg. Athletic South Africa has released a statement acknowledging the new ruling, but stopped short of accepting it. ASA says it will consult SASCOC medical and industry professionals, as well as the Sports and Recreation Minister Tokazile Gasa, who has frowned at the ruling via a post on social media and urged South Africans to stand against the new rules. James, thanks so much for your time. Let's get to the nitty gritty. It's 400, 800, 1500, right? Yes. That, that's do you have a preferred event? Um, well, I enjoy the 400. I fit in South Africa. James, thanks for your time and uh, good luck and uh, we'll keep a close eye on your career. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Yeah. Archery is perceived as an elite sport only for the wealthy. But it's people like Sean Anderson and days like these and bows that cost a mere $3 that are breaking that perception and allowing kids, regardless of their background, to take up the sport. Who knows, maybe one day one of these kids behind me could be a future African or even Olympic champion. CS Duplessis, CGTN, Pretoria. Good morning and welcome to SABC 3's coverage of the World Cup semi-final. The co-hosts New Zealand go up against South Africa. It'll be the seventh meeting between these two nations. This one should make for fascinating viewing. Sit back, relax and enjoy the cricket as we build up to one of the biggest matches of the World Cup this far. With me, Lon Wabotsotsobe, Mark Boucher, Ed Rainsford. I think it's fair to say A.B. de Villiers was born ready for World Cups <laughs> and for cricket because he's such a phenomenal cricketer. Now, Vera Peterson, he is uh, with our super fans and uh, he's been catching up. Let's uh, find out what they're all up to. They are up early and uh, all with Protea Fire, that's for sure. They gave us some great answers then. The Protea Fire is strong with them tonight, that's for sure. So we have our fans with Alvira Peterson. We've got more analysis and build up to the big semi final South Africa and New Zealand to do battle live from Eden Park in Auckland. It's coming up after this.